Oh boy, you guys never expected me to talk about this figure. I mean, yeah, I did say in my in last night's video that uh, today or Thursday, I'm probably going to review the Andrew figure art. So, anyway, yeah, here we are. Hello, everyone. My name is Bokusatsu, and I'm here, to, I'm here on the wonderful Monday afternoon reviewing the S.A. figure art. Spider-Man, well, the S.A. figure art, the amazing Spider-Man, Andrew Garfield, from, uh, well, No Way Home. Well, also, at the same time, this figure, this figure can represent his No Way Home counterpart. Also, his uh, movie counterpart from Amazing Spider-Man 2. Not one, two, because this suit is based off the second movie. Now, before we get into this figure, I, we, I need to address something. Yes, I know. I think we all know this, but... Uh, unfortunately... When when this figure was in prototype mode, where it got revealed, we got revealed as review reveal as well, we got announced. It came with it, it came with a head, with a head scope, the Andrew head scope. Unfortunately, this figure does not come with that. Because I'm gonna guess that Bandai Japan did not got the rights from Sony to use the head scope. To, to use the face to use the lightness for Andrew Garfield for the for this product, and while that's a bummer, at the same time it makes sense because Sony owns Sony owns Spider Man, and 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 they take and they technically own the rights to the Andrew Garfield movies as well, which is fair enough. Which is fair enough why we couldn't get the Andrew head for this figure. Unfortunately, the Marvel Legend version did. Don't know how Hasbro did it, but they did all right. But uh, yeah, that's like that. That's like one. That's like that's like one of my biggest gripes with this figure. I love this toy, but at the same time, I'm salty that unfortunately we couldn't get we couldn't get the uh, the Andrew head scope. But it is what it is. So anyway. Let's go and talk about the figure, about the good and bad. Be honest with you, I have a, uh, I've been having a lot of fun times with pictures with this guy, because oh my goodness, he looked just like he looked, he looked just like the suit from the movie. I lost <laughs> posing him is very fun too. This is how far his arms go. I want to say he is a little bit limited with with uh, with these, so be careful. Do you, you not want to break those? But yeah, but yeah, this is how this is how far his arms go up. All right, this is how far his back goes from here to here to here to here. This is how far his legs. Oh, sorry. This is how far his legs go. I'm keeping an eye on my dog too, so please forgive me for that. And then, yeah, he posed pretty well. He posed pretty well as well. I mean, like seriously. You can put this guy in any pose, and uh, he'll pose pretty well. See? Man. It's crazy how, uh, it's crazy how this figure, it's crazy how this figure is better than the, uh, Toby and Tom from the No Way Home three pack from Hasbro. I don't even have that three pack because that three pack is really pretty much pointless in my opinion. Boop. Pose him pretty fun too. I love. I do love this Chrome. Because I, I don't know why, but the the, the Tom and Andrew, the Tom and uh, not Andrew, the Tom and Toby figure art do not have this chrome red, but this figure does for some reason. I'm gonna have, I have a theory that uh, that I have a theory that uh, they were trying to copy off the uh, off the Mayfix, the the uh, the Mayfix Two Mayfix figure. 
Because if that's the case, well, fair enough. I love, I loved it. The, I will say, his back is a little weird. You see that? If they think, I want to say this now. Be careful with how you pose him in the back. Because in the back, this this can all get scratched up. And uh, you do not want that for your figure. And also, to, to be honest, also to be fair to you, this is a premium Bandai figure. Yes, the figure is premium Bandai. But I didn't buy them for P Bandai. No, I, no, I actually bought mine for Big Bad Toy Store. <laughs> for a good price too. Well, ninety bucks. Anyway, <laughs> hey, yeah, be careful the back. You not want to scratch it. You not want to ruin it or anything. The articulation, the torso. This looked just like Andrew Garfield from the movie. He even had the long neck. Granted, I can't lie. The long neck is annoying. As heck, but uh, but yeah, he even he even has he even has the long neck. Well, to be fair, Andrew Garfield, to be fair, Andrew Garfield did have like a long neck as well in the movie, so that's uh, so so that's like fair enough, you can say. So now, so now, so now, so now, so now, so now, oh god. So now let's get on to accessory. Eh, he does come around a lot. Granted, he, granted, he, he's a Spider Man figure, so. So I want to point out not a lot of Spider Man figures come around like a lot of accessory, unless, unless it's a freaking Mayfax. And I love Mayfax, but I'm just, I'm just pointing out, being honest there. So yeah. So here we have his, uh, so here we have his flippers. No, okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Here we have his, uh, his crawling hands. When, when, when he's doing iconic pose with, on the floor. Here we have his his definitive wall crawling hands. He thinks it's so good. Here we have his 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 relaxed hand. Also, I will say I love the fact uh, that uh, these hands right here was supposed to be used for for his unmasked head. But unfortunately, I already tell you that uh, that. The head did not come in the figure due to reasons. But yeah, uh but yeah, these are these are cool. Well, <laughs> Here we have his stripper, his stripper, his stripper. Here we have his his spider web. Here we have his hand, he do his iconic pose with his spider web the that trippers. Okay, I'm saying, I'm saying it wrong. Please forgive me. <laughs> you can tell that I, I'm, I'm loving the figure. The figure may become the figure may became part of my top ten for this year. The last time I drew a Spider-Man figure was the Mayfix Symbiote Spider-Man. I love that figure. And here we have a pointy hand. You can do that one meme. That meme is. That meme is not funny anymore, to be honest. But uh, it's good to have these. And he comes with reps. Of course he does. There's two small ones. And two like extended ones. You can make it do like his his, his uh, webbing. And oh uh, yeah. That's all he comes with. Not a lot. But at the same time, decent. So... <laughs> Let's so let's do size comparison. And since he since he is a Spider-Man figure, let's compare him to Miles. This is gonna be a Spider-Verse comparison. Oh boy. Can't wait really to get my hands on Miguel next year. 
I have them pre-ordered already on Tokyo Collectibles. So yeah, I have, I have Mr. Cannon Event pre-order. So there could be too many nights happening in the photo section. <laughs> Here he is with Gren. Don't worry, Peter. This time, this don't worry, Peter. This Gren did not snap her neck, unlike well yours. <laughs> he's standing pretty. He's standing pretty well with both of them. Here he is with the Black Series Boba Fett. In the Black Series Sabine Wren. Stand, girl. What the heck? <laughs> All right, he's standing pretty well with both of them. He is with the Mayfex Hush Nightwing. Granted, Nightwing, Nightwing is a little bit more taller than him. Yeah, he is with the SA figure. Damn. Here he is with the SA figures, Kamen Rider Aguilera. Oh, man. Import gang. Import gang. You gotta love it. But, he's, but yeah, he's down. He's staying pretty well with all three of them. Well, right, well, right next to both of them. Grante, Nightwing is the tall tree of three of them. Andrew's the second taller, Aguilar, well, the shortest. And here he is with the SA figure tycoon. And the SA figure Kamen Rider Live. And uh, yeah, he stamped pretty well with both of them. Granted, they they're, they're all the same height. The they are literally they are literally the exact same height. That's crazy. Alright. So overall, what do I think about this guy? Uh I love him. <laughs> I love him. I'll be honest, I'm not the biggest fan of the I'm not the biggest fan of the main Spider-Man 2 because first time I watched the movie, I thought I thought it was good. I did get emotional that Gwen died. But at the same time that I know that I know that movie is not the best. Okay, my dog's barking. Hold on, Vinny. I know that movie is not the best due to reasons behind the scene. But uh Overall, yeah. Overall, yeah, dude, this this figure. If you don't have like if you don't want to buy like the, the Marvel Legend version, this guy's a good alternative, but at the same time, if you don't want to pay like well if you don't want to pay around the uh, dub, the import prices for him, then just just stick with the Marvel Legends version. I'm, I'm not the biggest fan of Amazing Spider-Man 2, but I love Andrew Garfield. He's one of my favorite Spider-Mans. And I love this suit. It's my all-time favorite comic accurate suit for Spider-Man in the movie, next to Toby's and Tom's. But yeah, dude, this, 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 this figure's really good. Good articulation, good posability. And uh yeah. Do I I had I have I have no more I had no more other things to say. I'm sorry. I'm just happy to have this guy in my collection.
But yeah, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Follow all my social medias in the description. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I'm trying to hit a thousand subs to be We got to help. Well, we can accomplish that and do it. And also, if you had a chance, please check out my review on the Sinkoku Seho Kamari Fives. I just released that video last night. And, uh, well, well, I thought I, I thought the video was pretty good. Granted, it was a little bit rush, but at the same time, yeah. Yeah, I thought I thought it was pretty good. But, yeah. They... Yeah, 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 but yeah, thank you all for watching. Till next time, enjoy the, enjoy the video. What? Enjoy the pictures. I'm out. Peace.